Hello super users, so it's really good to come back and record videos for you. And so today we're going to start out with staff sets. Now staff sets are very useful in larger scores where you have a ton of instruments. Sometimes you want to get like groups of like instruments together. Like when you want to see the bassoon right next to the bass trombone and tuba, right next to the cello and bass. Now this is all possible to do with staff sets and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. But first just a couple quick announcements. Uh, so we made it to 50,000 views. Thank you for that. I'm really glad that these videos are very helpful to you. And both to help celebrate that and to say thank you, we're doing 30 videos for the next 30 weekdays. And if this is too many videos for you and you don't want to watch all of them, I'll be sending out a weekly email to the newsletter of the best video blog posts. Uh, and I'll also send out an email today for those of you already on the newsletter, just that way you're updated with that I'm going to be sending out a couple more emails regularly there. And occasional announcements in the newsletter. Usually there are one at most two per week. I don't want to spam your inbox at all. So I'll try to keep the announcements to the minimum. And you can also get access to the JW Lewis scripts that I use. Not promising that they'll work for everyone and they could potentially be helpful for you. Link is in the description. So back to staff sets. Now staff sets are really easy to set up and use, but you can only do them in scroll view. To get to scroll view, of course, go to view and then scroll view instead of page view. And you can use command E or control E to toggle back and forth between the two. So let's quickly define a staff set and let's go with like the low instruments as in the example. So first you have to go to your staff tool and you just need to highlight all these different nodes for the staffs you want to use. So the best way to do that is hit shift and then click and drag to highlight a staff. Then if you come down here to bass drum on a tuba and shift and highlight, you'll notice that you can still select these while also keeping the bassoon selected. And same thing down here, if you go to cello, shift, and then click and drag. And then come up here over to view, and then staff sets, and then to program staff sets, you either want to hit option on Mac or control on Windows. And let's just program staff set one and click. Great, now you can see that they're all grouped next to each other and that's really, really cool. Because this makes copy pasting or proofreading or anything really, really easy because you're getting rid of all those extra staffs. And anytime you want to get back to all the staffs, just come up here to view, staff sets, and then all staves. Now staff sets also do have a keyboard shortcut, so you can just go back and forth between the two with your keyboard. On Mac, it's gonna be control one for staff set one, control two for two, control three for three, etc and then control zero to get back to the main thing. So whenever I hit control one, I get to staff set one that I just programmed. And whenever I hit control zero, it takes me back to all the staffs. And I believe for Windows, it's the same thing with control one, control two, control three, control four, uh, but I could not find it in the documentation. And of course you can have up to eight of these staff sets. So we can quickly create another staff for all the wood ones. Come up here to view, staff sets, hit option or control if you're on Windows, and then click that to program it. Then of course we can go back and forth between the lows, the woodwinds, and everyone. So that is staff sets and finale. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new videos about how to use finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss any of those, make sure to hit subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a new video comes out.